Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, it's one of our favorite times of the year. It's nutcracker season. It's the holiday time and the Baton Rouge Ballet Theater is putting on their spectacular event. And here to tell us all about it is Christy Benoit. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. This is such a huge event for our community. It's one with such a great tradition, uh, you know, both of performance and also of, you know, community taking part in this and really making it something for everyone here. Tell us what's in store this year for this year's edition of the Nutcracker. Yeah, it really is our favorite time of year at Baton Rouge Ballet Theater. We're going to have uh, four performances this year, December 20th and 21st. There'll be a 2 p.m. matinee and a 6 p.m. evening performance on both days. And we just have some really great artists that are lined up for the show. We have two amazing guest artists. We'll have Allison Stroming, who is with Dance Theater of Harlem. So she was just here in October. She'll be returning right. to Baton Rouge. And then we have Carlos Lopez. And he is a former soloist with American Ballet Theater. He now teaches for ABT Studio Company. So they're just a stunning pair of dancers. It's going to be a real treat for ballet lovers to see them perform. Um, of course, we also have the Baton Rouge Symphony Orchestra performing with us, as well as our own Baton Rouge Ballet Theater company dancers, so we have some local talent, and we also have about 300 local children who are involved with the performance, so it's a big deal, a lot of people involved, and we're really excited about this year's production. It's really uh, remarkable to see these different groups come together, the symphony, the theater itself, and then you always have really these world-class performers for people to take advantage of, all, all the way down to, to children here in the community. I mean, talk to me about how special that is. We do, yeah. It's, it's really exciting that it's an opportunity for so many artists in our city to get involved and so many arts lovers to really come together and, and celebrate theater and dance and music in this really spectacular production. Um, it's just a lot of people get to be a part of it and a lot of people get to come see it and enjoy it. I know families make a tradition of it every year. We always have people that say they just come back, they, they bring their children, and then they end up bringing their grandchildren. So it's, it's definitely a, something that's become a part of Baton Rouge holiday tradition. And we love that it's, it's that important to our community, and that's why we keep doing it. It's definitely a, a great tradition, and the, the production value on it is always just first class. I mean, it's really something for Baton Rouge to be proud of. It is, yeah, it's a great experience. Um, for a lot of people, it can be their first experience in the arts, and so we love that it, it really is a little bit of everything. It's the live music, it's this tremendous dancing, the great sets and the beautiful costumes, and so it's, it's a great sneak peek into all the arts and kind of what that can be when they all come together. So it is a really exciting thing to do with everybody. Talk to me a little bit about um, how does it work if you want to get tickets? What are they going to run me? I know a lot of people are going to want to take advantage of it and see this great production. Right. Our tickets start at just $20. So they range from $20 to $55. And they're available at Ticketmaster.com or the River Center box office. Or you can also call the Baton Rouge Ballet Theater office. Our number is 225-766-8379. You can go to our website, BatonRougeBallet.org, and there's more information on there. Um, if you're looking for the best seats in the house, we do have a special deal going on right now. It's a VIP mini season, so for just $70, you can get great seats to see the Nutcracker, as well as our spring concert, which is Beyond Ballet, and that's going to be on April 17th. So a really great deal and a great way to get up nice and close for the per performance. The Baton Rouge Ballet Theater always has exciting events year-round, uh, d definitely not just at, at Christmas, and it's worth, worth it for everyone to take advantage of that so they can check it out all year long, right? Right, and yeah, our spring concert's gonna be a, a really great feature of our local talent. Um, some local choreographers, as well as some international choreography. Um, and yeah, just kind of seeing what our Baton Rouge dancers have. We have some really talented people that are involved with the production, so it's, it's a great show as well. Really quickly, give the folks the website one more time. It's batonrougeballet.org. Fantastic, thanks so much for coming on, tell us about it, and good luck with this year's edition of The Nutcracker. Thank you so much. Well, they're out there right now helping keeping you safe from Medicare fraud. It's the Senior Medicare Patrol. Take a look, everyone. Louisiana Senior Medicare Patrol needs you to help us spread the word about Medicare fraud prevention. The Senior Medicare Patrol grant for the state of Louisiana is held by a large nonprofit called EQ Health Solutions. So we manage the program for the Administration on Aging, which is part of the Administration for Community Living here in the state of Louisiana. Last year, Louisiana Senior Medicare Patrol educated over 23,000 Medicare beneficiaries. There's 800,000 Medicare beneficiaries in Louisiana. We're a very small staff of three, 
we can't do it alone, so we need your help. We do rely very heavily upon a volunteer corps that goes statewide, and they are using no tax dollars to help the federal government save tax dollars that are going out to crooks, scam artists, dishonest providers, and the like. So it is a very tightly run and efficient program. We currently have 40 volunteers that are statewide, and with the new baby boomers coming in, we'll have about 800,000 Medicare beneficiaries in the state of Louisiana, so 40 is not nearly enough. We, we need new volunteers. Successful volunteers have experience in public speaking. They have a medical background, some general ideas with Medicare, Medicaid. Um, they're familiar with Medicare summary notices and how to read them. We have several retired RNs that are volunteers and we also have a retired physician that is a volunteer. So they have experience in the medical field. But you don't have to be a retired medical professional to be a volunteer. Some of our volunteers have been homemakers. They've been in the media and social activists. We are looking for some very specific types of people to join up with us. However, we sit down with you. We've got some different um, forms and um, checklists for you to look at. So we try to, to, to really take the time to make sure that we are a good fit for you. We don't want you to be um, spending your valuable free time working in a program that might not be the right fit for you. So we work real hard to make sure that we are what you are looking for and that you are what we are looking for because it is a, a different, it's a uh, very much a community development and um, an interactive sort of a volunteer opportunity. So it's not for everyone, but the feedback we get from our volunteers is that when we make a good match, it's a really great match because it's providing something for the volunteers that they haven't been able to find in a more traditional type volunteer um, organization. Volunteering for Louisiana Senior Medicare Patrol is very flexible. Um, once a month we send out a calendar to the volunteers with events that we have scheduled in their area and they pick and choose which events they're available to help us out with and those are community outreach events and education sessions like health fairs at senior centers, independent living facilities where you go and you stand at a booth and you hand out SP literature, brochures and giveaways. And then we do presentations, and presentations are usually 15 to 20 minutes in length with some time afterwards for question and answer. And those are done at the same places, senior centers, independent living facilities, elderly housing units. Um, those can be for churches, civic groups, those, those types of places. They never go to a senior's home. You know, they're not meeting in places that are not um, well-known and um, chaperoned, if you will. There's always going to be a site manager there. There's going to be some type of salaried staff people on site at whatever location our volunteers are visiting. Our volunteers make a difference. Our program makes a difference. We can definitely fight against Medicare fraud, but it's going to take everyone pulling together. We ask one of the things that our volunteers tell the folks that they work with in their communities is to look at those Medicare summary notices. That's that statement that they get every 90 days. And looking at that's the only way you'll ever know if your number is being misused, if your number has gotten into the hands of someone who is using it to file false claims to the Medicare system. If you're interested in volunteering with Senior Medicare Patrol, or if you think that you might have an issue that we need to help you with, you can reach us by calling our toll-free number, 877-272-8720. Or if you want more information about volunteering, we've got a wonderful section on our website that talks all about volunteering. You can even take a look at our volunteer handbook there on the website. And that website address is www.stopmedicarefraudla.org. We come back on Across Louisiana, find out what the Baton Rouge Symphony Orchestra has in store for the holidays. Don't miss it. <laughs> 